Hello, this is the Footsteps of the Greats channel. Numerous experts have played an important role in the development of wireless technology. This video introduces some of the most prominent experts and highlights their accomplishments and contributions. These experts have provided revolutionary ideas in the field of wireless communications and have helped build the modern digital society. Their contributions are wide-ranging and include efforts to improve communications technology, increase the efficiency of information transfer, and promote widespread adoption. Their research and development has led to today's wireless communications and has led to modern technology. Michael Faraday, the founder of Electromagnetics Michael Faraday, the man who is arguably the founder of Electromagnetics. He was born in 1791 in London, the son of a poor blacksmith. At the age of 13, he was living as a newspaper carrier and bookbinder. Although he had dropped out of elementary school, he was so smart that he was given permission to freely read the books in his office because of his competence. At the age of 22, she succeeded in getting Humphrey Davy, a member of the Royal Institution of Great Britain, to take her on as a scullery maid. First, inspired by a paper on the magnetic action of electric currents, he invented an electromagnetic rotary device, the world's first electric motor. He also derived Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This discovery led to the creation of the electric generator. His activities were not limited to the field of electromagnetism, he also discovered the a law of electrolysis, benzene, and experimentally proved that light is polarized by a magnetic field. Without Faraday, power generation, and, by extension, the development of modern civilization would not have been possible. Thomas Edison, the King of Invention Edison is probably the first person who comes to mind when one thinks of the greats of electrical engineering. He was born in February 1847 in Ohio, USA. He is probably best known for being so curious that he had to quit elementary school and had his mother teach him to study. inventions, Edison established his own research institute and strove to create things that everyone wanted. In addition to the incandescent light bulb, he invented the toaster, the phonograph, and the electric car. In addition to his inventions, he also participated in the movie industry, and was a man of action. Ferdinand Braun, the man who invented the cathode ray tube. Ferdinand Braun invented the cathode ray tube, which was used in televisions a long time ago. He was born in 1850 in Hesse, central Germany. D. in 1872 from the University of Berlin and rose to the rank of professor at the University of Strasbourg in 1895, even serving as director of the Institute of Physics. In 1874, he discovered that when a semiconductor is in contact with a metal needle, alternating current is rectified. He published a paper on the nonlinear nature of resistance generated by Ohm's law and invented the potentiometer. In 1897, he created the oscilloscope, the first cathode ray tube, which is synonymous with his work. It is a product that colored civilization a century ago as a visual device for televisions and computers. In 1898, he invented the diode, and further down the road, he experimented with sending Morse code underwater using high-frequency current and directional transmission and reception of radio waves. In 1909, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his contributions to the development of wireless telegraphy. Alessandro Volta, the founder of electrology. This age of free access to electricity at any time might not have been possible without Volta, the founder of electrology. Volta was born in Italy in 1745. By the age of 29, he had risen to the rank of professor of physics. 
In 1800, he questioned the electrical experiments with frogs conducted by the Italian anatomist Luigi Galvani and conducted his own follow-up tests. He believed that the animal's body did not produce electricity, but that it was caused by the swinging of two different metals. He developed an electricity-generating device consisting of several metal plates stacked on top of each other with a cloth wetted with salt water in between. He got the idea from a creature with a power-generating organ called the Shibiri Ray. He continued to make improvements, such as using dilute sulfuric acid instead of salt water for the generator. Volta's battery was capable of continuously generating a large amount of electricity, which was unusual for the time of its development. This invention evolved into the electric motor, electric light, telegraph, radio, and dry cell battery. The unit name Umvolt, used today, is derived from Umvolta. Charles Algernon Parsons, founder of the steam turbine. The turbine, an indispensable component of today's power generation facilities, was invented by a man named Charles Algernon Parsons. He was born in London, England in 1854. He studied at Cambridge University and grew up to become an engineer. He worked in the field of optical instruments such as searchlights and telescopes. After founding his own company, he built an experimental boat in 1884 to demonstrate his patented turbine, which he unveiled at Queen Victoria's viewing ceremony. Compared to conventional turbines, his turbine blades were installed in multiple stages. By doing this, he was able to take advantage of the reaction force of the steam as it passed through the turbine. As a result, the thermal efficiency of the turbine became unusually high, boasting a rotational efficiency more than 10 times higher than that of conventional turbines. Naturally, the turbines he developed spread throughout the world. Applying his turbine technology, in 1923 he built a power plant in Chicago that at the time was the largest in the world in terms of performance. In addition to turbines, he also developed the pneumatic phonograph also received numerous medals and was even awarded the title of Sir. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. By learning from and sharing their words and way of life, we have a guidepost for personal growth and goal attainment. If you would like to join us, please rate this channel highly and subscribe to our channel. Your one click will encourage us to bring the wisdom of great people to more people. Let's share the joy of being inspired and learning from the footsteps of great people together. Also, if you find the videos interesting, please take a look at our other videos and playlists. See you next time.